Hey guys, it's Lainey, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. I apologize for being just a tad distant right now from the booktube community. These past few weeks have been crazy for me. I had finals, I had graduated college, which is exciting, but I wasn't able to fully commit myself to my channel because I was just so busy and I was only able to upload like my Top 5 Wednesday videos, but now I am back. It's summer, it's gonna be awesome, and I'm excited to share new plans, new ideas, new videos with you guys this summer. I'm super excited. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is our Top 5 Books We Devoured, and I'm super excited to share with you guys my Top 5 Most Devoured Books. I have stories for all of them. So coming in at number 5 is Unravel Me by Tara Maffey. This was my least favorite book of the three, but it was the one I finished the soonest. I read it with probably within less than 24 hours, which is unheard of for me for a book this size. I usually don't do that. I was reading it so much, so late into the night, so early into the next morning that I got sick because I was up the entire night reading it and then I just got sick. So yeah, it wasn't my favorite, but I could not include it because of the fact that I did get sick and I stayed up all night reading it. So that's why Unravel Me is at number five. Coming in at number four is a book I just recently read, and it is The One by Kira Cass. It's no secret that this series is a pretty much a guilty pleasure read, I feel like, for me and a lot of other people. It's not my favorite trilogy I ever read, however, I've read all three of the books so quickly. And this one, I read it probably in... I started reading it after the Dorothy Must Die live show, and I finished it by one o'clock the next day with me even sleeping for my usual eight hours of sleep. Of course, was had to be on this list because I don't think I've ever read a book this quickly except for this one, so I completely devoured this book. Coming in at number three is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. I read The Hunger Games very quickly for a class. I was I took reading and writing young adult fiction and we were reading The Hunger Games for it. I read it over the summer and I read it and after I finished it I just had to get the next book. So I got it for my Kindle originally, and it was right when the first movie came out on DVD, and I was like, inhale reading this book, and then I was watching the movie with my roommate at the same time, and it was just, it was so crazy. I had a full, like, 72 hours lockdown of solely thinking of The Hunger Games, so I absolutely love Catching Fire. It is one of my all-time favorite books. And that's why it's at number three. Coming in at number two is none other than Crack Cocaine by Veronica Rossi. I inhaled this. I skipped a class to read this book and I had to finish it. I just had to. After I finished it, I set it down. Do I start the second book or do I wait? And then I went to the bathroom and I came back and I just like marched right on over to my bookshelf and pulled the second book off the shelf. The whole thing is just encompassingly addicting to me. I absolutely love this series. My favorite dystopian trilogy ever. So that's why it's at number two. Coming in at number one is a book on my Kindle and it is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This might actually be a surprise for most people because I haven't really talked about this book. I came across the book when I was in Las Vegas two and a half years ago for spring break and I had like my Amish Kindle with me, not of course my fire. I was reading reviews on Beautiful Disaster it had a lot of controversy surrounding it during this time because it was classified as contemporary but marketed towards young adult and the content wasn't exactly a y typical YA contemporary romance. So there's a lot of controversy about how to classify this book. Eventually it became new adult. I think kind of Jamie McGuire pioneered this new genre which I think is awesome. But it was the last day in Vegas and I thought I need something to read for our layovers and getting back to um, Chicago where we drove back to our town and so I decided I'm gonna buy Beautiful Disaster. Mind you, at the time the cover was hideous. If I can find a cover I'm putting it here because it was absolutely hideous. It's the reason why I didn't read it for the longest time because I've read her other her um, Providence trilogy books. I was reading it at the airport, I read it on the plane, I read it when we got to Arizona for the layover. I was reading it, reading it, reading it. And my parents are like, what are you reading? I'm like, oh, it's just a new book. Then I read it for like the three hour plane ride. I was getting sick up in the air and I was still reading it as we got back to Chicago. And I finished it by the time, if you can hear, yeah, it's thundering. I finished it by the time we got back home that day. I was up for like probably 24 hours straight. And I love the book. I really do like the book. I think it's a great book. It was a good addictive read for me and that is why Beautiful Disaster is number one. I hope you guys all have a great Wednesday. I will see you guys all later. Bye!